citizens of the medieval world welcome back to foundation where today we have been sponsored to check out the latest update which adds in a new butcher and meat processing chain there's a tavern there's taxation and basically we've not actually checked this game out properly for about three years now and i want to make it clear as well that the latest roadmap not just shows the upcoming updates it also at the end of it says it's the end of early access so there's no date there's no window but the end of early access for foundation is on the horizon and that's very exciting now there's a lot for us to learn and show off today so i'm gonna click on new game and look at this map generation there are original maps coastal fluvial hills mountain valley i think those were options the last time i played this but now there's a nice screenshot to show you what it is but let's create a map a map generator where you pick the kind of map that you want, right? And you can randomize the stats to create a random map, fluvial. It's a river map, right? Or coastal. You know, you can do all sorts of things. And you can, of course, mess with these yourself. And it generates a code down there for you to share if you want to share maps. So, for example, I can pick coastal, right? And... You know, let's say I turn down the ocean and I turn down the bays, so there's no bays. I turn down the lake, I turn down the island, I turn off cliffs, I turn off hills, I turn off slopes, and we've got a flat land with a coast. So you could actually go to, for example, hills where you don't need anything and you can have a perfectly flat map <laughs> if you want to do that. But let's go here. We can up the ocean a little bit. Let's get... Uh, so if I go to max bays, it like really goes a lot. That looks kind of nice. We could have some islands off... Oh, you, you get islands in the lakes as well. Very nice. Cliffs. We want to have some cliffs. Oh, sorry. This does not rotate. That's randomized. I just randomized the seed. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, but basically, you can have all sorts of cool... I actually really like this one. I don't know. This one, I feel like building right there. And we have like a little access to this coast. I, I was just randomizing and this one turned out really nice. It's probably better than me trying to make my own. Confirm. Uh, mod support is a thing. I don't have any mods. Start game. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so you can have a completely flat map or whatever you like, really. Very, very cool. Mm, 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 mm. So, tutorialization, as far as I can tell, has been improved. The UI has been improved. Uh, I'm playing this slightly before this build releases, so it does say preview build behind me, but by the time you're seeing this video on YouTube, it should be released properly. Um, so th this should be pretty much correct. Um, there was a patch today, be uh, just before I recorded this. So, you can turn off advice, but a new beginning, let's hear your advice. I've not played in three years, I should learn. Uh, your first territory, let's put this advice into practice. It starts a quest. The quests are down here in the bottom left corner. And when you mouse over, it shows the details. You can pin it and then it keeps the details up. Very nice. Choosing your starting territory. By the way, I do have to say... Uh, the game has definitely been optimized very nicely. I'm basically at almost max settings and I'm recording and streaming at the same time as this and this game's running pretty smoothly. When I'm not recording and streaming, this is solid, solid frames. Very, very smooth. And it's just really nice when you properly zoom in and everything. Like you see all the grass, you can zoom in this far. People always ask, how far can you zoom in? Right to the ground in this game. Like if, if you want to, like you, you can you can play the game like this if you want to. And you can zoom out to this far. Good, good. Now, looking at the map, I've got this cliff. So this is the coastal area, right? So if I want to ever access the coast, I'm going to have to go down this way. Uh, but I do want trees as well. So I could start here, right next to the coast, or I could start further inland. Um, 
Because I, I probably don't, I don't think I can just traverse this sharp cliff. So I think the smart place to start is here. It's like next to the cliff, lots of trees. Rocks are in, in the adjacent territory. Uh, we have some berries and rocks here and we can expand in, uh, we are on the coast as well. Or we could at least expand to here to get proper water access. So, so this feels like a good smart, uh, Thing. There was a mod to build stairs, but you guess may need updating for this build. I'm not using any mods today, so I'm just showing up the game as is. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to support the channel, there is a referral link that goes straight to Steam. Very much appreciated if you just click that and look at the game. <laughs> it's just to let them know you came from here. Even if you want to buy the game on GOG, click the link, look at it on Steam, and then buy it on GOG. Let's purchase this territory. Mineral deposits were discovered nearby. Uh, by the way, there is a UI scale if you check the settings. There's quite a lot of options now. Um, UI scale is under video. I put it up by like 5% because it just felt a little bit too small. I might want it bigger actually, like 110%? Like it can go real big, up to 135%. That feels too big. So I think 110% is right for me, right? Otherwise I'm like really leaning in like that, trying to see the numbers. I think 110% is good for me. Good accessibility feature there. Okay, now we have to place your village center. So we just keep following the quest there. Spacebar does pause the game. Um, so build a village center. So there's the build button. There's the village center button. I assume we should want it near those berries. And trees and stuff, so like here. We can rotate it, but it doesn't really matter. But that looks like a good spot. Village center. No, we live in... Dwellmend. Confirm. Built. And there they are. How are they? The last time I played, I remember they were pretty stiff. <laughs> like, they, they didn't even have idle animations. They have idle animations now. And you can rename every single one. And they have like a little portrait. Look at that. They're all serfs right now. Look, they walk around and they breathe. Isn't that nice? <laughs> they didn't used to. They do now. <laughs> uh, so, organizing work. Um, your people would like to help you settle the town. Okay, good. Um, so... If I go to... Is there... There's no current thing to build. Uh... Oh, we have to read the message. Organizing work. Second piece of advice comes from a young enterprising villager. Rather than simply letting everyone fend for themselves, she suggests you organize laborers into workplaces. Let's put this advice into practice. Uh, placing a builder's workshop. Builder's Workshop, here we go. Is there a front and back to this thing? I think that's the front, so sure. Let's have the Builder's Workshop right there. You can rename every single building. I'm not sure, I guess you could like rename it Builder's Workshop 1 or if it could specialize at some point. Uh, assign Builders, one, two, three. There we go, fantastic. Assign builders complete. Let's have a look at this building. How much detail is there? Now I have depth of field turned on. Perhaps I should turn that off because then we could see the detail. What's nice is with the depth of field is that you can turn off just the near depth of field. And then you can actually see the details. Why is that so high res? You can actually read the words on that thing. <laughs> look, it's... They want to build a castle. There's like a nice little sketch there. Oh, there's like a, an actual model there. This person's taking a real close look. That... why... why is that so high resolution? <laughs> okay, impressive. Building a lumber camp. Okay, let's go to build. Lumber camp. Produces wood. There's a work area. Let's build it on the edge of this forest over here. Or like kind of in the forest, like there, right? Yeah, let's do this. Build. Get that set up over there. Very nice. Oh. 
This, this, oh yeah, of course, I remember the medieval paths that generate from people walking around. It's such a nice effect. They put, they, that, that's been there since a long time, but it's just such a nice effect. Look at that. I love that so much. Like the whole point of Foundation, when it first came about, was it's a gridless, naturalistic, medieval builder, right? And it's sort of just continuing to deliver on that promise. And it's been a long time coming. And I think like just so far, like the last time I played this was like three years ago and it didn't feel finished. This so far, I know we've only been playing for a little bit. It's starting to feel like a finished game. <laughs> a sign of woodcutter will do. That's a sign. Let's just sign three woodcutters for now. I mean, like, there's a UI and everything. The last time I played, this was just like a blue bar, I think. Now we can see our resources, coins, tendency, coins. We've got some money. What's this? Monthly balance enabled. Okay, we've got population, happiness, villagers unemployed, ongoing constructions, missing resources. So that's all the buildings. Progress, progression, prosperity, two. Wealth, territory, commerce, population, splendor, beautification, open commons. Oh, okay. There's we've got we've got proper unlocks now. Yes, villagers. Oh, UI data. It's all really nicely designed with fancy icons and everything as well. Parchment texture and everything. Oh, this this this. Hey, this feels like a game. <laughs> Stats. Okay, your first extraction zone. Defining extraction. Um, paint and extraction zones. I think that's like... Um, locate building, destroy building. How do we do this? Missing extraction zone. Okay, so we need to go to this brush. Extraction. And like this. You are extracting that. Oh, no. Like this. Yeah. Good. Forbidden land. Nobody will walk on Lord's land. Flavor text! Oh, they got flavor text in there. Allows wood cutting, uh, stone cutting, and berry gathering. So we definitely want to gather that and gather that for those. Good, good. Gathering food. Produce berries. Do we have to build something for that? Gathering hut. Yes, so it sort of shows you where the berries are. Very nice. So we'll just have this, like, right here. Like this. How do I want this to look? Like this. Yeah, right next to the berries, right next to the town center. That's cool. Cool. Gathering hut. Build. We're building on this slope, so we'll see how naturalistic this ends up being. You would suggest a bit larger wood zone until you get the forester. Well, I mean, I, I was just painting initially. Ooh, reforestation. So, like, can you increase the brush size? Uh, yes, P to increase brush size. So just extract all of this. Yeah. Yeah, like we can eventually replant things, right? Good. You didn't realize how sloped it was. Yeah, I mean, like that. That this this is where where we're building to indicate the slope. <laughs> it's pretty steep down to the down to the coast there. Oh, look at the start of our little village. Ah, oh. but okay, yeah, I do want to show off. Uh, some of the new features. So we want to get to, once we get started, I definitely want to focus on getting the the butcher, which is new. Uh, that has been fully implemented in this build, as far as I understand. So that should be good. Advice getting produce barriers. So we should, oh, we got to assign. How many free workers do we have right now? Okay. Look at them. They get like little hats and stuff. There's uniforms, so wait, hold on. 
Oh yeah, so the serfs just have these beige tunic things. The builders wear green. The foresters have axes. And I don't think it's quite the same color as the, the serfs. Yeah, they're like slightly darker browns, what they're wearing there. Like... Honestly, everything sort of feels so much more complete than the last time I played. Right? If you've been waiting for this game to just feel more complete so far... Like, we'll, we'll be playing quite a bit of this. Um, so I'll be playing quite a bit to properly investigate this one. And I want to check out the monuments specifically. Like, building monuments. And, you know, properly expanding your territory, all of that stuff. Happiness. Needs and happiness. So there is a new, I think, entertainment need spawning from the new tavern building, which is something that I'd like to set up as well. Um, though I assume we would need some form of alcohol for the tavern. Let's put this advice into practice. I like how... So a good tutorial has lots of nice flavor text for you to read, but if you skip the text, it should be real clear what you're supposed to do. Build a granary, assign a transporter, assign berries to granary. On success, you receive a hundred coins, gold coins. Yeah. So like, if you skip the text, it's easy. Granary. Oh, it's big. Um, so we should have a granary like near the town center, right? That's like a... Uh, reasonable thing to have. So let's build the granary right here. Ready to build. Confirm. What's this? Maintenance cost. Monthly required gold upkeep, I see. Assign a new transporter, assign berries to granary. So we just need the, the granary to be built and I assume uh, the transporter works at here. We can't assign workers until uh, it's built. We do have five, do we have five stone? Wait, we don't have five stone. How do I? I need a stone cutters camp, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and build a stone cutters camp right here behind the granary to just mine up the stone. Build that. We need to build a stone cutters camp. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> so see, when th this is a really good sign of, on a really good test of onboarding. I haven't played this game in three years, right? So I've basically forgotten everything. When I get confused, how long does it take me to intuitively figure out what to do? Right? So like, wait, this thing's not building. What's wrong? It needs stone. Do we have stone? Looks at UI. We don't have stone. How do I get stone? Look at stone. Probably need a building. Check building. Stone cutters camp. Right? I Like once I figured out, wait, something's wrong. From something's wrong to building the solution. It was just a smooth process, right? That's that's a really good test of tutorials and onboarding. Once someone realizes something is wrong, you know, figuring out what's wrong, figuring out the solution and implementing the solution, there was no hiccup in that thread. Very good. Ah. Like, the new UI does does help a lot, like, just seeing these. Oh, you can mouse over and see more data. And you can click it, manage in book or toggle tracking. Toggle tracking? Oh. Oh, look at that. You can toggle tracking of individual resources. Look at that. And we can manage in books. Where we can buy until inventory reaches or sell above the value. You can track it. You can stockpile. Oh, and there's trade routes. Ah, oh, I love these um, these crests. Oh, you can scroll this. There's more Davenport, Kinstone Abbey. I think one of these is new as well. I was reading in the patch notes. So for those of you who have been playing more recently, 
Lord Unknown. No, I'm not Lord Unknown. I'm Lord Gamer Zack. Confirm and say, my village. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to name it. We're living in Dwellment. Confirm. So this is not Dwellment. This is... Town Center. Ah, oh, there we go. Now now we're living... Like, what's the button to bring that up down here? The, oh, it's just called Book and it's Tab. Ah, oh, Lord Gamerzak of Dwellmen. <laughs> is this in Early Access? It still is. It's been in Early Access for like seven years. But the latest roadmap shows that at the end of the current roadmap is the end of Early Access. So this is... It's the final stretch, and this is the latest update. Right? This is the latest update which added in butchers, uh, 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 I think a ta um, tavern. There's a whole new meat processing production chain. Um, so th this, I would say, I don't know how long the last stretch is, but... Uh, uh, but it is on the last stretch. Okay, let's take a... How do you remove a worker? Remove a worker from there. Remove a... What is all this? Oh, these are individual people, I see. Home to work distance. Oh, that's gonna be important. Finishing up. Perfect. And then I can assign three workers into the stone cuts. No, so it's got... It's got this... This style of UI where you can bring up all sorts of things all at the same time to manage them. Which uh, I've seen in a few games now, particularly simulation, resource management, city builder things. Where you can just pop up UIs and like manage. And it feels like sort of a lot at the start, but then you soon realize it's like really easy to just manage multiple things. It's like... Okay, so I wanted to re re reduce workers here, reduce workers here, and add workers here. And I could just do this and do reduce, 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 add, add. Done, done, done. Right? Is it a foundation for a fun game? <laughs> I mean, the foundation was laid years ago. Um, since then, it's been like refining and stuff like the foundation was good years ago but so far still this feels like good good oh this is so nice i'm not sure if they've like been changing up the uh the sound effects and stuff as well And the music? There's probably new music. Ah, the birds chirping, the trees rustling. It's nice. Shadow Man, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Okay, so stone is coming in. If I click on the granary, we just need one more rock. Can someone bring us a rock? Are you carrying a rock? I can track the resource. So I'm tracking this. Producing resources. There. So this this one person should produce a rock. Come on. Give me a rock. I could speed up the game. What's the max speed? Three? Yeah, three. We got a rock. Okay, good. Now we can watch this granary. Builder Concessus. Is Concessus the name of the person? It is the name of the person. Okay. Concessus. What? What's this? Service, comfort, food, water. So one of the recent changes is food. There's now... Um, they used to only like want one type of food. Now they want two types of food. So they can be like extra happy. You don't have water? Okay, that's bad. Comfort, service. Right. I am working. Current whereabouts. Job. Builder. Level 2. Oh, and you can just swap their jobs like this as well. Very nice. 
granary is coming along. It's a tall building off the ground, I think, to keep vermin out from it. I'm assuming. I've never, never studied granary architecture personally or specifically, but I assume this is to make sure rats don't just crawl up or field mice. You know, that, that little separation. Also protects from flooding, I suppose. There we go. Granary. Wonderful. Okay, so now we need to... Uh, uh, let me unassign... No, let me unassign one person from here. So that we can assign a transporter to the granary. And then we want to assign berries to the granary. Perfect. So now berries can be stored in the granary because the gathering hut is currently full. Very good. Defining residences. Buy a new territory and paint a residential zone. Ooh, I should buy this neighboring territory, right? Because that will just give me proper access to the water. I don't know if there's any water buildings, but... I probably want to set, like, just have that. And this is just, just a nice place to build, right? For our coastal town. So I assume it's the flag button. And I purchase this territory. Oh, there's overlays and stuff? Sirability. Fertility. M minerals. Oh, minerals are there. Okay. Zoning. Territory boundaries. Very nice. Okay, so under paint. Residential. So I just have like... This whole section as housing. Right? Up until there, yes. So it doesn't get into that bad desirability. Wonderful. Might be too much, whatever. Fulfilling villagers' needs. So we now need to show the zoning. Oh, I, I just did that. Uh, visibility zoning areas, very nice. Build a well, build a market, assign a new market tender, assign berries to market stall courts, okay. Um, so the well should probably be near these initial houses, right? That makes sense, right? A well. Built. I'll rename it. Well, well, well. <laughs> we also need to build a market. Uh, market provides goods to your villagers. I guess this can be between... Is this um something we... How does this work? Hold on. Uh... Destroy building. Build. Market. Is it just a a stick? How how does this? It looks like it's just the stick. But I guess I'll build it here. Build a market that has a market stall. Oh, select a function. Market stalls caught free build. Build without functions. The f oh. Food stall. Rustic market tent. And it it's modular. Require... Oh, okay. I have 10 cloth, so I could do, for example, a food stall right here. And the 
Is that the correct direction? Where's the front of this thing? Okay, no, that's not the correct direction. You, um, rotate it around. Food stall, right there. Tent, right there. Oh, what an interesting way to do markets. It's, you could just do free build as well. So this now requires 20 wood and five cloth and build. And I assume we could, yeah, we can just like build more, like we could build a whole bunch of different market things. Ah, and look at the houses coming in. Yes, we've got little fences. This well. Yeah, okay, we're building a lot of things. So, assign a new market tender, assign berry. So we'll need a free person at some point. What resource are we like really overstocked on? Berries, we have so many berries. Let's reduce a forager. Uh, and Greta, I'm gonna free you up. Oh, this is all help stuff? Okay. Look at our village! It's growing so fast! Our little coastal town? Ah. Uh. They just build these houses. I don't know how much it costs. How much does it cost? 10 wood to build a house? Okay. Desirability average houses up to two villagers. So they'll be building five houses. And I assume they'll build it as close as possible to... Um, like on the edge of the zone. Yeah, and then the, the market will be right there. Good. Everyone works there. Very good. Nah, it's all coming together. What's this? Is this another house here? That is another house. Oh, these two houses are real close. That's coming on in. Okay, good. Uh, so I probably should prioritize the well and prioritize the market. So the houses will eventually come in later. So right now, I think they're naturally prioritizing the houses because they don't want to be homeless. Uh, <laughs> I'll get them to prioritize the other things. So this is going to be the production center. This is going to be... Basically, I, I'm, I'm doing it RCI. R-C-I. <laughs> Residential, commercial, industrial. Right, so when the residents pass their way to work, they go through the commercial zone. So market here, I guess I'll put the tavern here. That'll be cool, right? Uh, oh look, the well's coming on in. We got plenty of wood, 10 stone, good. Five of that 10 cloth will be used on this market. Okay, wood's coming in. So house production should slow down a little bit. Is this just the unemployed? Yeah, this is the unemployed person. <laughs> She's just stood in an unbuilt house waiting for the house to be built. Looks pretty happy though. Just sat in the shade, nothing to do. Can you actually only hear crickets when you go up to the grass level? You zoom out this far and you can't hear, or the birds are really quiet and you can't hear the trees. At this level, you can hear the birds a bit better and some trees. Here you can really hear grass rustling.
And there's crickets. Okay, that's some attention to auditory detail. <laughs> that's real nice. Right? You can hear the grass and frogs. Crickets. So you don't hear the frogs and crickets at this level because it's too far away. <laughs> Monthly report. Right, I think that's we earned a hundred coins from the quests, spent 55 on construction. Market. Builder Pukio is assigned. Well, Builder Seguiz is assigned. So those two things are coming down. This house has been built at some point. Very nice. Uh, so we've got four houses. Fifth house is being built up there. So they tried their best to stay on the edge, but it's not like it's not like hard. Um, like they're not just doing one, two, three, four, five in a line on the edge. There is sort of a a formula to make it a bit more random and more medieval, right? So it, it does feel more naturalistic. Ooh, is this done? Yes. Uh, I want to assign berries and add a market tender. The start of our market, the berry stall, is going to be implemented. Osiris Zoran, thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. The well is done. Well, well, well. Infinite water source, and that's in rain. That should be close enough to all of these houses, right? Encouraging immigration. Assign a job to all your villagers. Raise the happiness of your village to 75. Currently, it's 25. Village aspirations. Oh, we've got... We've got career goals. Have a hundred citizens of... Never generate revenue from trade routes. So as soon as we make money from trade routes, we can't do this anymore. Dedicated to the clergy. Dedicated to clergy hard mode. Never promote a villager to the next status. Okay. <laughs> and if we track them, it shows up down there. Okay. Those sound real hard, so I'm not going to do those. Um, in terms of buildings, do I have anything new? Gathering hut, well, stone cutters camp, lumber camp, forester camp, market, granary, builder's workshop. So I think I got all of that. Happiness is starting to go up. It's currently 40. Um, is there something we can do? Visitors tracking, upgrade, densification. Allows houses to increase density, thus permitting them to be rebuilt with higher capacity when conditions are met, such as homeless villagers to fill house. Oh... Okay, so comfort and water should be pretty much handled as best as it can. Food, they should all be getting one type of food now, right? Okay, good. Comfort must rest under a roof in order to feel comfortable. Everyone's got a house, so as people rest in the houses, yeah, they get some comfort. And there's at least no negative for that. Food is also should be distributed. Three berries consumed this week. Fantastic. People eating berries. So just doing this means happiness should continue to go up. And we just have to wait for everyone to be happy. Right? How's our... F oh, we, we can just look at the UI. Food supply is fine. Wood, stone, looking okay. These medieval roads developing quite nicely. Ah, just a nice medieval village. Ten people consume three berries. Well, a lot of them haven't eaten anything. <laughs> That's why. Eight berries consumed.
This is such a relaxing game. I just want to stay zoomed in. <laughs> it's, it's nice being down here. It's nice being like I zoom out to like play the game and I'm like no 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 I, I wanna st I wanna stay here. It's just it's just so nice to stay like right here. Happiness seventy five percent. Profiting from trade. It's telling me immediately to give up on one of those achievements. <laughs> a business-minded villager. Let's put this advice into practice. Building a warehouse. Um, ooh, a sawmill. Very good. Uh, so wait, hold on. This thing I built over here was a lumber camp. This is a forester's camp, which plants trees. So I'll want to have this set up near the lumber camp. So I want a forester camp there. That's 10 wood. Uh, I'll want a sawmill. Is that the front? Okay. I'll have the sawmill here, so it, it'll be like taking wood and then it can put it straight into the sawmill on the way back to the industrial center. That's 10 stone, 20 wood. Okay, we'll build that. It's raining. Perfect. Um, I needed to build sawmills. Uh, acquire a warehouse in the book. Oh, there's a tech tree. A newcomer requests an audience. We do need more people. <gasps> yes, just just join. We need tons more people. Join us. Um, we've got jobs. Become a miner. Um, become a forester. Become a... An, I, I only got two people. Uh, I also then have to paint reforestation. Like along here. Good. Um, what am I doing? Book. Buildings. No. Resources. Economy. Uh, acquire warehouse in the book. Progression tab. Progression. This is a tech tree. Warehouse. It costs some money. Butchering. Okay. I'm buying that right now because that's the new thing. I'm unlocking butchering. Decorative. <gasps> Fishing. Wooden bridge. Okay, I don't need a bridge. There's no rivers. But I'll need decorative and fishing. Okay, I'm buying it all. <laughs> okay, and that gives us buildings. Oh, oh. Village tree. Wonderful. I'm gonna do a thing. Yeah, perfect. Nothing to report. It's a tree. <laughs> this game has changed so much. I mean, it's come a long way. I mean, this is feeling real solid. Okay, wait. I needed to build a warehouse used for storing and trading types of goods. Um, so I assume we could just have it here, right? Like this. 
Yep, build that warehouse there. Very good. Um, what's the other... Let's see. Fishing hut, hunter's hut, butchery. Yeah, I'm going to build a butchery. Just because I, I want to build a butchery. Where do I put it? Across from here, I guess? Things are a little crowded. Maybe the butchery can be here, like across from the granary. Yeah, like this. Butchery produces meat in exchange for boar. Okay, good. I don't know where we're getting boars from, but <laughs> we're going to do that. Flower bush. Simple bench, backrest bench, common wooden bench, road sign. What makes sense? Like that. A road sign built. I'm wasting my money on vanity projects. Logistics, reason for common decoration. A stone bench for people to sit there. Perfect. A round pruned hedge. Wonderful. <laughs> Decoration has begun. <laughs> that means the real game starts. Oh, two people moved in, so we got another house here as well. Very nice. So happiness is just at 70% right now. Um, minus 2% from comfort. Minus 24% from food. So basically they want a second type of food to um, get that going. Assign planks to warehouse. Do we even have... Oh, I need workers back, I think. What can I... I guess I have to go back to removing one person from there. Assign a carpenter. So that converts wood into planks. The forester... Oh, planted quite a lot of trees already. All types of trees. I don't know if I want... I guess it'll look cool if it's all mixed up like that. Biodiversity. The warehouse is, uh, needs planks to be built. Um, the butchery also needs planks to be built. Uh, how about the resource production? No, it would be under food production. Butchery. So, um, the butchery needs boars. Employs serfs. Uh... Boar. Is there anything about hunting? Hunters will track boars in densely forested areas. Large enough forests that you place multiple hunters' huts close to each other without having to worry about negatively impacting your boar production. Hunters' huts can be turned into meat at the butchery. They can be sold to traders. Hunting zone. Okay. Do I just not have a large enough forest in my territory to hunt? I mean, that, that looks pretty big. Hunter's hut, I have it. Do I? Oh, it's right there. I'm, I'm just blind. I'm just completely blind. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's lots to hunt right here. Build. 
Also, let me just check uh, painting for extraction. It goes until there. Let's not extract up to here. Let's, let's just extract up to back there. And maybe a little bit into there. Okay, then reforestation can end there. Yeah, that works. Okay, I was just blind. <laughs> Sorry, Canafelli, thank you so much. Uh, ooh, more people want to join? Yes, join, join, join. Welcome, everyone. Uh, let's put you to work. Let's have two more carpenters and a woodcutter. Let's get our wood production going as much as possible. These trees are growing up already as well. Look at that. I just wanted to sort of mark the center like that. Oh, right. Set the hunting area with the paintbrush. Hunting zone. Like, you can hunt this if you want. All this, all this is hunting zone. Oh, does it... Can it not overlap with extraction zone? Or maybe it can. I don't know. Oh, it can't overlap, I see. Okay, so hunting zone established. Another path coming out here. Very nice. Oh, is this house? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if this house is being upgraded. Occupants two out of two. This one's occupants five out of six. It's taking ten more wood to house more people in a larger house. Okay, good. Well, well, well. This is going well. Berries being served out. Food supply is okay. We just... I suppose we have enough uh, stone. We're just kind of short on wood. Can I... How much does it cost to buy another territory? Can I buy 250? Upkeep increases 10 coins a month? Ah, oh, that's so expensive. Because, like, if I buy this, I could... Or I buy this, I could chop more trees right now. Because the forest is just kind of... These trees all take some time to, to grow back. I suppose there's still some trees to chop down. We should be okay. I don't know if different trees grow back at different rates. Make a bit of money with the berries. Well, right now we're trying to get to... Um, let's dismiss all of these. We're trying to get to trading, which we need the warehouse. But we for that, we need the planks. For the planks, we need the wood, um, which we're slowly producing. We have two planks, but also the butchery. I should prioritize the warehouse, right? But the butchery is almost done, so might as well finish the butchery first. Uh, the hunter's hut also taking wood and the house upgrade is taking wood Like we just need so much wood Like everything's just sort of popping off here Our little village is getting busy our population now is 15 so we've increased our population by 50% already Just by attracting people, but their happiness is going down because I think when more people show up, they're homeless. And we can't house them until we get the wood needed. Right? Yeah. Two more planks and the butchery's done, so might as well finish that, right? The butchery is the new building anyway. So if you've been playing Foundation, you might not have seen this structure. Like this is this is a new building. 
brand new for this update. A meat production chain. That's why they've made it so villagers want two types of food. Because they added a whole new food source. Which we are going to set up. Four more wood there. The six in storage right now. Okay. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I think the builders are just overworked right now. Yeah, we could also set up fishing. Look, I see. Look, there's fish in the water. Like, I definitely have access to coast right there. What's this road? Oh, is that where the newcomers have been coming from? They've been spawning right here in the forest. <laughs> That's the immigration path. That's where people are coming in from. Oh, look at them! That's where they all came in from. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, let's assign two more miners. Uh, all of these are filled up, right? Yeah, but m more... Um, more jobs are going to be opening up soon. We currently have... Um, two villagers unemployed. We're going to need a hunter. So I think for now I'll just try employ as many people as possible. Yeah, the butchery is almost done. How about the the hunter's hut is almost done. Okay. Oh, here's the butchery. It's now done. New structure. Very nice. Uh, let's assign a butcher. Now we need hunters going. Um, builder Pukio is assigned. Should be finishing the hunter's hut. It's implying there are boars. Oh, it's... Oh. I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> this place is infested with wild boar. <laughs> They're everywhere! <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I gotta take... No, I gotta take two people off of this. Assign one hunter. Assign another butcher. Okay, so everyone is employed. And we now have... Meat being produced, which I assume we could allow meat to be stored in the granary. And then what I could do is set up... Can I expand the market from here? Building overview, parts list, edit building. Select a function. Free build. Oh. I see. Cancel that. So I go here. Edit building. Market stall court. A food stall. So I want to have another food stall here. Like this. Next to the berry stall. And I guess it should have a tent as well. Bit further away. Right? Like that. 
good. Yeah. Build. We'll build another stall, and that's going to be distributing meat. Good. How are these houses coming along? Uh, they're starting to get wood. Okay, that's good. When you have 30 to 50 wild boar living in your backyard. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, butcher should be butchering. Hunter? Looks like resources are being brought back from the hunters. Right, I, I'm guessing they are hunting. Erlekin? Where are you? There, there's, there's the hunter Erlekin. Unfazed. One man versus an army of boar. He walks towards the forest with no fear. Uh, I don't know if we're, we're getting anything yet. He's equipped. He is working. He's searching the woods for ball. Thinking about that bacon. <laughs> oh, oh, he's coming back. Do we have we have some meat? Look at that. We got four meat. We we we've got a boar. We've got a boar. A boar. In the hunting hut. We've produced meat. And all of that is brand new. This is this is a new production chain that they've just added to the game. Hunting to boar. Uh, now we gotta sell it, which is gonna need this. Um, how is this coming along, by the way? I will prioritize this construction because it just needs planks. It's just I think we're just taking a while. Come on, make the planks faster. Who are you, Floris? Make the planks faster. He's trying. He's trying his best. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, look. New new immigrant. Happiness is at 57%. I don't know why anyone wants to move in. <laughs> this market... Yeah, let's prioritize this construction as well. I just don't know if um, we're producing enough wood to like have wood and planks. Because this is taking two wood to make two planks. So by doing this we're basically using up a lot of our wood to turn into planks. Lyra Linda, welcome. Good to have you. Construction, minus 98. Upkeep, minus 1. Okay. Twelve. Yeah, we're just waiting for planks. Oh, you? Yeah, join us. Could always do with more. What well, do these trees are growing back quite nicely? Maybe I just need to build, like, another lumber camp. Right? That, that might be a thing we gotta do. Is this done? No, not yet. These houses, just not enough wood. That house, yeah, not enough wood. A lot of people just aren't housed right now. Because I allowed um, the houses to be upgraded. You can limit that. So there's a button here to um, 
disable densification. Yeah, I think I just kind of need another lumber camp. It seems like... Yeah, there's not even enough wood for the sawmill. We, oh, we shot one plank. Okay. We've got 12 meat, though. That's good. What is this waiting for? Two wood? Yeah. Oh, this is producing a resource. Would I say this is a spiritual successor to Settlers 2? No. No, no, no. Um, if anything, I would say this is more of a spiritual successor to Banished. Right? A survival city builder in a medieval age. Okay. Okay. Last plank coming in for the warehouse. And the marketplace is being built by Siguiz. So now we can assign meat. And I can remove a worker from here. Guccio. Guccio, you're now going to work here. Perfect. There we go. Guccio. You're going to work at this market and sell meat. And then our people will have two types of food and they'll be extra happy. Well, they won't be happy. They just won't have any negative effects from that. Uh, okay. But the warehouse is coming down. It's a banish. I was considered patron to be that. Well, I mean, foundation came along first. Like, it, it's hard to believe, but Foundation has been in Early Access for, I think, seven years. Because, like, I last played it three years ago. And I played, played it before that on the channel, like, two years before that. So, five years ago. It's at least five years old. But I think it's more like six or seven years in Early Access. And Banished was... Some, like, only a few years before that, right? <laughs> Patron is, is much more recent. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of games, I think, have taken inspiration from Banished and Foundation. But Foundation just has, I mean, for a long time, it was like, just... It's coming. It's, it's coming along. It's coming along. And, you know, like... Between my first and second foundation video, I gave it two years and I was like, well, it's still coming along. And now it's been three years. <laughs> but now, now it's feeling real solid. Like animations are in, sounds are in. Um, performance is phenomenal. Right? Like, all the, the UIs done, tutorialization and onboarding seems very clear, very easy to, to go through. Um, oh, the warehouse is built. And I'm supposed to assign planks. And I need to assign a transporter. So let's take another miner, Zaysolf, and assign you to a warehouse transporter. Planning a trade route. Prepare a trade route. Unlock a trade route to trade the planks. Allow the sale of planks from the trade resource tab. Is that part of the book? Economy? No. Resources? I need to unlock trade route that buys planks. So I don't have any of these resources. So I just... It's Northbury. Established deep within a thick forest, Northbury welcomes all with a warm heart. Uh, they could have spelled heart, H-A-R-T, which I, I'm pretty sure is the spelling for a stag. <laughs> a warm heart. <laughs> Allied with labor. Oh, we've got politics in this game now? Uh, so Northbury is allied with... 
labor. Excuse me. So, like, because when I look at, um, is it progression? Army? Missions, soldiers, battle history? There's military in this game now? Um, under village aspirations, there's like, you know, dedicated to the labor, dedicated to the kingdom, dedicated to the clergy. There's these three factions. Um, and I'm looking at this labor, clergy, kingdom, clergy. Uh, so this, I feel like, is maybe an, I mean, that's straight up an abbey, isn't it? There's a bunch of newcomers came in. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Our food supply is running low. So let's... No, not you. Let's put two more foragers in. Um, so I just need to stockpile planks, right? I need to get 20 planks. And then I can unlock the trade route and then allow the sale of planks. Do they also buy... No, um, they also buy berries and they buy meat. So we could sell some of our basic resources. They only buy polished stone though. But we could buy from them tools, cloth, some common wares. Ooh, honey, barrel. Oh, I see honey, I see barrel, I see berry brews. I see the, the makings of alcohol, which, um, where is the tavern? So this is the level common path. Are there other paths for us to unlock? Prosperity is seven. Mostly from population. This... So 20 prosperity will unlock this. Clothing tavern, there it is. When we go from quiet to busy. So we need 20 prosperity. Splendor, beautification. Ooh, if I just... There's a formula here. Total beautification 7 times 0 0.2 points. Beautification cap, population 20... Is Beautification cap is population. So we could get a maximum of 24... So I'm currently getting... Let me try build some beautification stuff. Common decoration. Let's scatter some trees around. Like... There. Okay, and then let's, like, go down a couple bushes there, and then, like, have go down a couple wooden benches. This is a bit weird. How about here? People like sitting, right? Good. Also, flower bushes. Labor prospect tier reached. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. I have unlocked unlockables? We're video gaming. We have unlocked unlockables. Mm. Look at these. 
progression. What what unlockables have we unlocked? So we, we just reached prosperity of 10. By building all of that, we basically gave ourselves another three prosperity. Trade balance, taxes balance, okay. Um, what have we unlocked? <laughs> I'm unsure what we have unlocked. We've unlocked something, but I'm uns unsure what. This is still, so all of this is under common path. I think we could possibly unlock other paths. It said something about, um, oh, this stuff. Yeah, logs. Okay. Labor prospectier reached. New content available to unlock. Common folks heard of your land. Some nobles noticed your land. The clergy has shown interest in your land. Prospect tier reach. So those people are just the, the the three factions are just sort of interested in us now, I think. Like they're gonna start paying attention to us, right? Why can't this game have something game exactly like humankind? I don't know. What what would you add into this game? That's me. Oh, look at that. People just chill out like this. That guy gets it. Oh, scattering decorations really start to bring this together. Very nice. Okay, so... We just need one more plank to unlock the the uh, trade route, and then we can start selling planks. Um, though I think I do need to build another lumber camp. I, th I think we need that. Resource production. Yeah. I think I just put down another lumber camp. Okay, newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I still don't have enough planks. It should come in soon. Oh, these upgraded houses have actually been built. So this is, these two structures are combined. Desirability high, ooh, very nice. Let's have a look at our desirability. Yes, they love it. Oh, wait, no, turn it off. Okay, we got 21 planks. Let's go to book. Let's go to resources. Let's unlock trade route. Uh, level, volume, bought, sold. Okay, fine. Trade routes, resources. So now I want to go to planks and I want to sell. All above, let's always make sure we have like four planks in stock, I guess. So as long as we have more than four planks, we would sell them. Advice, the manor house. Your people would like to help you settle down the town. Suggest you build a manor house and a great hall. This will let you enact mandates. Let's put this advice into practice. Build a manor house. We can build like a home now. Administration. Manor house. Oh, this is one of those special buildings. I mean, it sort of feels like it should be here behind them. Like overseeing the town from like back here. All right, this feels like, uh, but I, I need to figure out, select function, free build, great hall. So great hall would be these things, right? Okay, hold on. Um, so free build allows us to build whatever. Interactive location, visitor location.
Rustic Hall. There's not really a front or back to this thing, is there? Like this sort of thing? That, that looks good to me. So if I have one of those, and this thing can... Ooh. I can... Oh, yes. This is where I live. <laughs> it does let you do this. Ah, yes. This is, this is, this is where I live. No, no, no. Let's 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 not do that. That tis a silly place. Let's not let's bring that back down. <laughs> too expensive. Too expensive. Let, let's let's not do that. No, no. Too much. Too much. Uh, let's just give ourselves a little bit of height. Okay. Good. Rustic tower. Ooh, we can just pop a tower onto the side. So it can the tower can pop onto any one of these connectable points. I think a side tower makes sense. Oh, you can rotate it on that axis as well. Ooh, there's some flexibility here. Um, do I want the tower on the residential side or the industrial side? I'm leaning to industrial side. Like there, and then I could have the tower be a little bit taller, like that. Is that... That not good. Maybe I have the tower on the back. Would that be weird? Oh, that's outside the territory. Hold on, I gotta bring this whole thing forward a bit, and then this to the. You could have a tower on the back like that. Oh, you can build it inside as well, like that? Ooh, okay. I kind of like that. Maybe that's too symmetrical. I like this. I kind of... Uh, it's sort of overlapping with... those windows. I think I do want it on this side. And then just like that. Right? I kind of like that. Door. Can fit right in the middle there. Don't suppose... No, no. The door goes there. Chimney. This needs to be on what? On the roof? Back the roof like that. Center of the roof. No, that's kind of weird. Back of the roof like that. Yeah, that, that sort of feels right. Yes. Good. Interactive location. Visitor location. This is the place where visitors patiently wait while you decide to hear them. This is where they wait. What, like, like this? 
wait at the side of the door. You wait right there, yeah? Throw down a lovely tree for decoration right there. Very nice, yep. Yeah. Uh, in terms of people waiting, you guys can use this bench if you want to sit. Very nice, good. Have a bush. Just to break the symmetry on that side. Very good. That tree can be a little bit closer. Just as long as nothing's overlapping, it looks good. Very nice. Okay. Turn snapping off in the building menu. Oh, can you turn snapping off? Where Where is snapping? Uh, there. Oh, so this allows you to just place it. Oh, then you can get it right. Oh, I see. Then you can do that. Okay, then I can turn the window to face like that and then really get this properly centered. Right, so it's... I can get it perfectly centered. Thank you for that. I like that, but... Is there an undo button? Don't think so. Hold on, I gotta replace that. Make sure this is properly centered. I'm not even paying attention to the rest of my village. Hopefully no one's dying. I see we are actually out of food, but happiness seems to be okay, so maybe it's fine. Is that too much? Okay, that actually feels kind of better, and it saves on resources. Yeah? Oh, that... That looks so good! <laughs> oh, that that worked out real nice there. Yes! Okay, I love that. Now I got my watchtower so I can watch the village from the high ground. Oh, 38 planks, 28 stone, 11 tools. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Build it. Ah, oh. that's gonna be so good. Um, now food. Uh, let's build another gathering hut. Uh, food production, gathering hut. I can just have one like right here for these berries. Cause why not? Prioritize. Did anything fall apart? I mean, we've got meat. Have people been eating meat? Do people have... Yeah, some people have two types of food. Guccio. Yeah. Meat. Ten meat consumed this week. Zero berries. We really just ran out of berries, huh? I can add more workers. Uh, I built another... Lumber camp. I need, like, so much more wood. I'm gonna need a lot of stone, aren't I? How much stone is this gonna need? 27? Actually, I've got plenty of stone. Uh, so let's take one person off there. Make sure woodcutters, so plenty of wood starts coming in. Planks. It's fine. I have no idea if I've sold any planks. During this time. No, I don't think we've sold any planks. Oh, but we got to... <gasps> hmm. 
Northbury trade level, 10 points. We're no longer a quiet town. We're a busy town. <gasps> oh. Level one complete. Our quiet town has become a busy town. And that is where I'm going to end part one of this little exploration. I will be playing more, don't you worry. That's just the beginning. I'll be coming back and what I'd like to do is maybe part two, we'll get through busy and then part three, we'll go to flourishing or maybe even further. But you're going to see this fantastic manor house I've built for myself. Someone's already using the bench. Look at that. Who are you? Magdaloni. I'm on my free time. Good. Sitting outside my house before it's even built. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this is feeling so much better than before. Not that it was a terrible game before this three years ago, but it's feeling so clean now and I can highly recommend it. So thank you so much uh, to Foundation for sponsoring us today. And if you'd like to check it out, use that link. Just it's just a referral link to let them know that you came from here. Uh, everyone just click it right now and look at the Steam page and you could wishlist it, you could buy it or whatever, you know, but very much appreciated if you just let them know you came from here and I can highly recommend jumping in now if you've been holding off or if you haven't played for a while, I do recommend jumping back into it. Ah, uh, yes, join my town, grow. <laughs> uh, anyway, I will be playing more. Look forward to part two and part three, maybe more, who knows, and hope you enjoyed this and go see more right now. I'll see you there. Bye, guys.